Today on 3D Outdoors, we're taking a metal detecting trip of opportunity. Stay tuned. Alright, hadn't been filming the dig since I've been digging a lot of garbage today. And we're kind of over here off on a little area and I seen some rock. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to check this out. And sure enough, we have ourselves a weedy there. Looks like in the 19, very possibly in 1940 something. It's definitely in the 40s. Looks like a 40. 1940D. So, on to the next one. All right, we got a rim exposed there. I had a good dime signal. We're going to do the unveiling here. And I got a rim exposed there, and I think I know what that means. Read it edge. Yep. So let's get her out of there and see, see what we got. That's a Merc. I think that's a Merc. We're gonna have to get her cleaned up, but I think we got another Merc. Yeah, you should carry water with you. Yeah, I should. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Poppy's calling me over here that he has silver in the hole, but it's not a coin. It's kind of silver, though, I think. Oh, it sure looks that way. That's uh, gonna be sterling, I bet. Yeah. It's a good size sterling ring, too. Be true to yourself. Dreams. Something like that. I would assume that's silver. It looks like it. Sure looks like it. Clean it up like it, too. Yep, there's a stamp right there. Yeah, it's got some marks on it. Yep. Pretty big one. Yeah, it is. Real big one. It says Israel. Mm. Alright, very nice. On to the next one. All right, we got a hole opened up here. Had a pretty good high pitch sound on it, tone. And you can see what we've got exposed there. Let's uh, reach down in here and see what we've got. We have ourselves a mercury. There is a mercury dime. We're gonna recheck the hole and see if we got anything else. All right, like I said at the beginning of the video, this was a metal detecting trip of opportunity. Um, we really didn't have any place lined up, so we reached out to somebody that we've gotten permissions for before and uh, went out and detected a spot. And let's go over the uh, results here. You will have seen in the video some of that. So let's show you the boards. All right, you'll see a very clad heavy day today, which was part of the goal. We wanted to add a bunch of clads to our total. Over here on Poppy's board, he's got a bunch of pennies. Got a couple of nickels looking for some old ones, but couldn't find any of the older ones. A bunch of dimes and quite a few quarters there. Has an arcade token up there. Got a wheat penny, 1940D. And got a Canadian penny in 1972. And then that huge sterling ring, and it is marked 925 on the inside there that you saw him pull out of the ground there. So really big ring. That's uh, it was ringing up, what, a quarter on your quarter. machine? Quarter, yeah, that's that's a big sterling there. And then over on the, the side with the finds that I found, quite a few pennies again, quite a few dimes, several quarters. Got a, a necklace piece there that's just costume jewelry, but it rang up good on the machine, and it's in pretty good shape yet. 
Got a couple of wheat pennies in 1941 and a 1944 D. And I was able to get a couple of Mercury's there too, a 1936 and a 1945. So there you go, another successful outing in metal detecting. We've added some more silver to the collection and some more wheats. This is Dan and Poppy with 3D Outdoors reminding you to get into the outdoors and enjoy everything it has to offer. If you like this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button at the bottom. <music>